Look at this verse with me, 30, where it says, virtue went out of him. He stopped knowing in himself that virtue had gone out of him. And he turned and said, who touched me? Virtue. The word translated virtue there is the Greek word dunamis. We've heard this many times. It means the power to do. Jesus told his disciples regarding the outpouring of the Holy Spirit at Pentecost, you shall receive power when the Holy Spirit comes upon you. The word power there is the same word, dunamis. Okay? Jesus felt virtue flow from him. In other words, Jesus felt power flow from him. I've heard it, been, I've heard it taught that if you're going to be serving in the name of the Lord, it's going to cost you something that you have to be filled with the Spirit. And then when you go and serve in the Lord, that power is going to flow out of you. That virtue is going to flow in His name. The Spirit of God is going to be transmitted from you. And, and when it does, it's going to flow from you and it's going to be depleted ultimately and you're going to have to go back and be refilled. Okay, does that sound a little familiar? It sounds familiar to me and there's something that sounds a little... Uh, write about it, I suppose, right? We always have to be filled with the Spirit and we're cracked pots, you know, and we leak and all that. Um, but I read this from a Matthew Henry commentary. He knew it not by any deficiency of spirits, that is, that virtue had flowed from him, through the exhausting of his virtue, but rather by an agility of the spirits in the exerting of it and the innate and inseparable pleasure he had in doing so. Do you hear that? It wasn't that he felt virtue flow from him like he was walking along and she touched him and he was like, whoa, virtue just flowed from me. Who touched me? You know, it wasn't that at all. And that's not what it's like when you are filled with the Spirit and you touch someone in the name of the Lord and virtue flows from you that it becomes depleted and then you have to go back and get filled again. Okay, That's not what it's like. What it's like to be filled with the Spirit, it's like you are, well, what did Jesus say about it? In John chapter 7. John chapter 7 and verse 37. If any man thirst, let him come unto me and drink. He that believes on me, as the scripture has says, out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. We sang it tonight about the Lord. He's the source of living water. He's the source of the Holy Spirit. He is, a Holy, he is the Holy Spirit. And when the Holy Spirit is in you, it's not like you have some power bank filled up with the Holy Spirit like you're some kind of energizer battery of the Spirit. And as you go ministering, the, the level, is the little red line is going down, 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 and then you minister one last time, and it's like, oh, no more spirit. Got to go back and get filled. It's not like that. You become a source of living water. When Jesus was touched by this woman and virtue flowed from him, what he felt was, ha, ah, someone just received the power of God. Okay? It was an exhilarating, amazing experience for a man to be delivering the power of God to a soul and healing her like that. Okay? And I can tell you that's what it's like when you're ministering in the name of the Lord. That's what it means when it says, do not be drunk with wine, but be being filled with the Spirit. It means be continuously filled with the Spirit. This is the relationship Jesus had all the time hour by hour, minute by minute, a continuous downpouring from God, outpouring to the world. He was a, a conduit in that sense. He wasn't like a vessel that you pour out of and then it's empty. It was like a vessel like the magicians have. You pour and pour and pour and cup after cup and it just keeps coming, keeps coming. There is no end to it. You're a source. There's no depleting a source. That's where you go for the stuff, to the source. When you become filled with the Spirit, and minister in Jesus' name. There's no running out of power. You have the source of all power. And he's a source of power that's moving through you. That's what he has for us in the filling of the Spirit. Mm -hmm.